Hi everybody, welcome to TCM, I'm Ben Mankiewicz. Tonight we are saluting Ernest Lehman on what would have been his 100th birthday. With a list of credits that includes Sweet Smell of Success, North by Northwest, and Somebody Up There Likes Me, all of which we'll be showing later on, Lehman was a top-tier screenwriter of the 1950s and 60s. During his career, Lehman earned four Best Writing Academy Award nominations, two of which we'll be bringing you tonight, starting with our first film. It's from 1966, Who's Afraid of Virginia Woolf? Film stars Elizabeth Taylor and her husband at the time, Richard Burton, playing a poorly married couple in a scathing adaptation of Edward Albee's Broadway play. It's the story of George, a college history professor, and his caustic wife, Martha, the daughter of the college president. Together, they put on an all-night show of drunken, profane vitriol and debauchery for a young professor and his mousy wife, played by George Siegel and Sandy Dennis. The play was a big hit on Broadway, leading to a number of A-list stars vying for the leads in the film adaptation. But Lehman, who not only wrote the script but produced the movie, wanted Elizabeth Taylor, even though she was 10 years younger than Martha, her character. Taylor gained roughly 30 pounds for the role, removing a little of her Hollywood glamour. As nearly the entire world was familiar with the off-screen story of Taylor and Burton, casting Burton as the emasculated husband was an inspired choice. All four cast members earned nominations, as did the film's director, Mike Nichols, making his debut as a movie director. From Warner Brothers in 1966, here's Who's Afraid of Virginia Woolf. 